Now to your health and a new health trend. You may have been seeing people rubbing gua sha stones across their faces on social media. And you're probably wondering what is this new trend all about? Our health reporter Haley Hernandez wanted to find out as well and she joins us now with more Haley. Yeah because at first I thought this was like the same thing as the roller on the face but it's different. Gua sha allegedly relieves tension, reduces puffiness and inflammation like from sinuses but some people are taking it much much farther and a quick warning it's leaving them bruised. Nellie Reed is a busy mother of two girls, always looking for the next best thing to look and feel healthy. I'm always looking for more energy mm -hmm. <laughs> to keep up. But she went from this to this. The pictures you showed me though, you bruised pretty bad. It looks scarier than it really is and the benefits outweigh the, you know, slight pain or whatever you might feel. Her licensed acupuncturist, Kia Chung, demonstrates how he uses this gua sha technique called scraping to move in a downward motion on muscles. The idea is this causes blood vessels near the surface of the skin called capillaries to burst. And according to him, it's healing for people who suffer from chronic pain. The body, once you have that, you start to repair again. So when it repairs, some of the area that is blocked, we scrape it to break those capillaries that are being blocked. That is called scraping. Gua sha is just about the oldest form of Chinese medicine, which has been around for thousands of years. I couldn't help but figure out why people want to keep doing this. Oh, sit down like this. Sit down, yeah. It is harder than a Swedish massage, which yeah. for me kind of hurts, okay. but it wasn't so intolerable that I had to throw in the towel. And I was shocked that oh, Chong could pinpoint exactly how long I've been carrying heavy weights that led to the tension in my neck. Maybe about three to five years. My babies are three and four. <laughs> What the patient will expect is that the muscle used to be so tight and heavy, but once you scrape it, you break it, now blood flow, the muscle becomes loose and you actually feel lighter. Okay. And while the technique is popular on the face, he says you never push hard enough to cause bruising on the face. Instead, it requires a lighter touch and can be done more often, like two to three times a week. The body is far less frequent. The short term you feel the pain, long term you feel the relief. I rave about it because it's different and it's also works. So this is part of traditional Chinese medicine. So I wanted to find out what Western doctors, a, AKA American doctors think of this. There is literature published on the National Institutes of Health website that says that this does help some people. Here it is considered a holistic treatment. You'll find it mostly at acupuncturist offices or maybe even some physical therapists might use this massage technique. Interesting. All right, Haley, how much does this cost? So right there at uh, Dr. Chong's office, it, he does $90 a session, about $90 a session so it could be kind of pricey look kind of painful yeah I mean, but do you don't say how long that's supposed to yeah you don't have to go all the time like he said like five or six sessions and then he says people actually stop bruising and that's a signal that the muscles healed and so you don't have to come anymore interesting mm -hmm. oh, okay. and then the bruising only lasts like a few days looks can so. be deceiving yeah right sometimes sometimes yep yeah. all right Haley thanks thank guys. you